sponsorship of this evening. So if you're from the class of 81, if you just want to stand up so we can recognize you and thank you. It is a pretty good class, Admiral. They did okay. Uh, the other group that I'd like to honor that I, that I always do here at these dinners, because I think it's very, very important, and that is those who enable the academic program on the ethics side to be so successful. And to me, truly be a model to the rest of the nation and really to the rest of the world of how ethics education should work. And it really starts with the, uh, with the Commandant and Midshipman, who uh, is responsible uh, for the Leadership Ethics and Law Department. And I think I saw Captain Clunder at one point. Is he still here? Okay. Well, John, you can take the bow for the, for the Commandant. John O'Neill is the Deputy Commandant, but I want to thank both of them for their, for their leadership. The uh, Department of Leadership Ethics and Law is led by Commander Steve Trainer, who I know I saw before we came over here tonight. Steve is uh, one of our permanent military professors, which, which means he has a, uh, a longer tenure here at the Academy, and we're very grateful uh, for that. Uh, Dr. Chris Eberly, who should be somewhere around. Where is that fine young man? Hey, where's your jacket? <laughs> <laughs> just kidding, Chris, just kidding. <laughs> Chris Everly is the, uh, is the section head for, for ethics and just a fantastic, uh, fantastic uh, man in and out of his jacket. Um, <laughs> there's, oh, I, there's a great reason for it because he's normally so snappily dressed that, uh, anyway. Uh, the next person is uh, Captain Rick Rubel, who's the director of, of NE203, and, and Rick pours his life and soul into that course, and, and uh, there are literally thousands of midshipmen that are impacted by the effort that you put forward. So thank you, Rick, for, for that. Um, and, and I also want to just recognize all the NE203 instructors, both uh, civilian professors as well as military instructors, if you would stand up. These are the individuals that go into the classroom all week long, week after week, to instruct our midshipmen and give them the balance between theory and practical application. So NE203 <laughs> professors and instructors. Thank you. Now to the awards. Um, the process that, that we have is that any 203, since this is the, this is the uh, February time frame, this would have been individuals that wrote their essays last fall while they were students as, uh, in any 203. And in the essay, that's, uh, that they were assigned a number of essays throughout the semester. And each of the NE203 instructors can submit one of their students uh, for, the, uh, for the quality of paper that, that they have written. So then our civilian professors uh, gather that are here at the academy to go over these many different papers that are nominated to determine a list of about four to six midshipmen that have just superb papers that will then be judged by an outside panel. So that's the process that goes through. This year there were five that was submitted to our outside panel to, to review, to grade, and then to rank order so that we would have a, a winner amongst those five. But they're all winners, and actually the midshipmen that are here who submitted all of these different papers, they're, they're winners as well. But our outside panel helps us to select the one that will get the, uh, the grand prize, as it were. And uh, only one of the panel members could be here tonight, but let me tell you who the three were who judged the papers. One was uh, Major General um, Rick Olson. Uh, he actually was the former Commandant of Cadets at West Point. That's where I first met him. Well, I was Commandant at Kings Point, and he became a real mentor of mine. Uh, eventually commanded the 25th uh, Infantry Division out of Hawaii, then retired from the Army and now assists the armed forces with training of uh, mobile training teams that go to Iraq and Afghanistan. He actually lives in Hawaii and, and was not able to make it this evening, but he was one of our judges. The second judge was uh, Dr. Fred Guy from the University of Baltimore. He's the director of the Hofberger Center uh, there at the University of Baltimore. We've established a, a very cordial relationship with the University of Baltimore through him, so he was able to uh, grade the papers. But the individual who is here tonight who also served on the panel was uh, Rear Admiral, um, I, I'm, 
I'm trying to read here, uh, Rear Admiral Brooks, which I should know his name since we've met together. He's a senior vice president of Allion Science and Technology, career naval aviator, at one point commanded the Patrol and Reconnaissance Force Atlantic, and also ran the Navy uh, Safety Center. And he uh, also took time out of his schedule to, uh, to look over these papers and, and rank order them. Admiral Brooks, are you? There you are right there. Hi, Admiral Brooks. So now we're going to introduce our, uh, our finalists, and we'll, uh, we'll go ahead and call them up one by one. In this particular uh, year, they're going to get a certificate, and they're also going to get the doctor's book um, uh, that will be a great addition to their professional library. I'm going to read the citation for just the first of the finalists, and then the citation would be the same for each except for the title of the, uh, of the essay that they wrote. So this is from uh, myself, a letter of commendation, and this is to Midshipman Third Class Allison Deegan. Uh, I commend you for your outstanding contribution to the ethics essay competition with your paper entitled The Price of Secrecy, Russia's Flawed Ethical Decision Making and the Sinking of the Curse. Yours was selected by a panel of distinguished experts as a finalist from a field of over 400 entries submitted by students in any 203 during the fall 2008 semester. Your achievement is a testament to both your academic ability and understanding of the ethical implications of service in the United States Navy and Marine Corps. I applaud your commitment to excellence and appreciate your drive to prepare yourself morally and mentally to lead sailors and Marines. Congratulations and best wishes in all your future endeavors. And I'm going to ask the Admiral and Dr. Jaddick if you would come up as well to uh, shake their hands and get a picture um, with them. But Allison, if you would come on up to uh, receive your certificate and your book. those two and they would like to get a picture of you so if you turn around there you go thank you very good our next uh, award finalist is midshipman third class Ralph Grossman and his paper was entitled the question of command Self-preservation or selflessness? Ralph, if you would come on up. Great, thank you. This is for Midshipman Third Class Michael Smithson. His paper was entitled Moral Culpability, the New Basis for Target Distinction. Michael, come on up. Congratulations. Thank you, sir. And for Midshipman Third Class Zachary Thrasher and his paper entitled, An Aircraft is a Delicate Machine. Zachary. Congratulations. Thanks, sir. All kinds of goodies. <laughs> And now for our winner of these uh, great, great finalists, Midshipman Third Class Giancarlo Alpuche is from Belize. And as far as we can remember, and there's a bunch of folks who've been here quite a long time, that this is the first international student who has won the competition. 
And if he isn't the first, he's the most recent that has won the competition. And his uh, paper is entitled The Ethical Study of Lieutenant Colonel West. I had the opportunity to read his paper closely, and it's really a great paper. Not only are you going to get the doctor's book, but you're also going to get the book Tennessee Patriot, which is the story about Vice Admiral Lawrence, which I think all of us should read to learn about leadership, a plaque and a check that's inside this this uh, folder here. So you got a great opportunity. Come on up. Congratulations. Are you going to say a few, a few words for us? Hi, good evening. I'd like to say, if I knew, if I knew they were going to announce the name of my paper, I would have thought of something better. But uh, <laughs> I'd like to just thank uh, Lieutenant Colonel Thomas, my professor. He did a phenomenal job just getting points across and being really down to earth, especially given his, uh, you know, his background. He could be, could be many things, but I really appreciated the, the way he conducted the class. And uh, Dr. Cook, she was very instrumental in helping me to get my paper ready and I'm very appreciative of all the work you did and to everyone else thank you for coming out good night Well, my final thanks uh, goes to uh, Marge Bem and Jacqueline Dana and uh, Bob Benson who are all part of the center who do marvelous work in setting up events like this and uh, make sure that we're all set to, uh, to do this. Um, I'd like to close with a, um, a quote that was actually found in the program for the Lawrence statue dedication. I actually carry this around now because I think it's such a powerful quote that is uh, attributed to Senator McCain. Uh, now, you've got to read the book, Tennessee Patriot, to see the role that Senator McCain had as a matchmaker bringing together Mrs. Lawrence and, and Admiral Lawrence. It's a wonderful story. So there's a very close relationship between the Senator and Mrs. Lawrence and, and, uh, and Admiral Lawrence. And this is what uh, Senator McCain said at, um, at Admiral Lawrence's funeral. He said, we witnessed a thousand acts of courage compassion and love, and the best of us was Billy Lawrence. He seemed to know that some of us weren't as strong as he was, particularly when times were tough. He inspired us to do things we weren't capable of doing, to go one more round with our captors. And he always led us with love. I think it's great to reflect on that as we go out tonight and to go out and do likewise. So have a great evening and thank you for your participation in this, in this meaningful night and make sure you congratulate our essay award winners. Good night, God bless you. <laughs>